Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. This morning, history on the moon. We are transmitting, and uh, welcome to the moon. After a week-long flight totaling more than 620,000 miles, a 14-foot tall lunar lander named Odysseus successfully landing on the lunar surface just after 6 p.m. Thursday. <laughs> Mission Control reporting that the craft is upright and transmitting data. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Odysseus, or ODI, is the first U.S.-built spacecraft to land on the moon since 1972. The company behind ODI, Intuitive Machines, is the first business to land a private spacecraft on the moon. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. And we'll stand by and monitor as Nova Controls to, continues to work this issue. As ODI prepared to land, Mission Control found that the navigation system used to guide the lander to the surface wasn't working. We're not dead yet. <laughs> Luckily, the team was able to rewrite the lander's software, taking control of an experimental navigation system. I know this was a nail-biter, but we are on the, on the surface. ODI is now at home on the moon's south pole. It's the first of many missions NASA has set to explore the area, which is suspected to have ice that could be converted to drinking water or be made into rocket fuel. The moon has one-sixth the gravity of Earth and no atmosphere. So it's a much easier place to launch deeper into the solar system. It really is the launching pad into human exploration out into deep space. And we could see images from Odie later today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.